Hello everyone. So in this short video we are going to learn about the anatomy of Ansa cervicalis. What is this Ansa cervicalis and what actually its function is, where actually it is located. So these are the points to be covered in this short video. So the Ansa cervicalis is a very thin nerve loop which is located in the cervical region that's why called as Ansa cervicalis. Exact location is which is embedded in the anterior wall of carotid sheath. So we know in the carotid triangle region we have the carotid sheath, the contents of the carotid sheath are the internal jugular vein, common carotid artery and the vagus nerve. So in, the, in relation with the anterior wall of the carotid sheath we have a very thin nerve loop. This is called as ansa cervicalis, otherwise called as ansa hypoglossi. You know what is its function? The branches from this ansa hypoglossi or ansa cervicalis which are providing motor supply to the infrahyoid muscles. So already we have learned the infrahyoid muscles like sternohyoid, sternothyroid, and thyrohyoid and two bellies of homohyoid like superior belly of homohyoid and inferior belly of homohyoid. So this is, these muscles are receiving its motor supply from the ansa cervicalis. Let us see how the formation of the ansa cervicalis is and where actually this ansa cervicalis is distributing to. The ansa cervicalis is contributed from the spinal segments like C1, C2 and C3. That means first, second and third spinal segments. And this ansa cervicalis which is formed by two roots. One is from above that is called as superior root. The second one is from below this is called as inferior root. And these two roots are uniting to form the ansa. This union happens in relation with the carotid sheath. And this is what called as ansa cervicalis. And superior root contains the neurons which are coming from the C1. That is from the first cervical spinal segments. So the nerve fibers from the first cervical spinal segments contributes for the formation of the superior root. And remember, this is also called as descendants hypoglossi. There is a reason why this superior root is called as descendants hypoglossi. Because the nerve fibers which are coming from the C1, first cervical segments, that will join with the hypoglossal nerve. And along with the hypoglossal nerve, it will travel. And from the hypoglossal nerve, it will come downwards. That is why called as descendants hypoglossi. This is the superior root. And this superior root will provide a branch that will supply to the superior belly of homohyoid. And here in this picture we got the superior root that is coming along with the hypoglossal nerve and that will come down as superior root here. And its branch is supplying to the superior belly of homohyoid muscle. Remember this superior root initially that will be rela related to the internal carotid artery that will be in relation with the internal carotid artery. Further below, it will be related to the common carotid artery. So the superior root is related both to both internal carotid artery and common carotid artery. Next is inferior root. Inferior root is below. And this inferior root is contributed by the nerve fibers which are coming from the C2 and C3. That means second and third cervical spinal segments. So this is the picture to show you from the second cervical spinal segment. These are the fibers. And that will join with the nerve fibers which are coming from the third cervical spinal segments. So C2 and C3 contributes for the formation of inferior root. Position wise this will be little bit below. That's why this is called as inferior root here in this picture. This is the superior root and C2, C3 contributes for the formation of inferior root. And remember this inferior root further runs antero inferiorly and it will wind the internal jugular vein here and antero inferior to the internal jugular vein that will join with the superior root to form the exact answer. And this is the inferior root that is joining with the superior root to form this hairpin course ansa cervicalis. And now let us analyze the other branches. From the inferior root we have a branch that will supply the, to the inferior belly of homohyoid. So to the superior belly of homohyoid the branch which is coming from the superior root and to the inferior belly of homohyoid, that is the branch which is coming from the inferior root. Here we got the homohyoid muscle, this is the superior belly and this is the inferior belly. In this picture, the sternocleidomastoid muscle have been cut and removed. 
that's why it is very clear that we got the superior belly of homo head inferior belly of homo head everything clearly seen with its nerve supply next the branches which are coming from the ansa that is from the low portion so we have the branches to sternohyoid and sternothyroid and sometimes this will be arising as a common twig and the common twig will divide or that will branch into two that is supply into the sternohyoid and sternothyroid respectively okay so these are the branches so the branches to the superior belly of homo head to the inferior belly of homo head sternohyoid and sternothyroid and now you may get a doubt already other than these we have another muscle called as thyrohyoid muscle thyrohyoid also is one of the infrahyoid muscle but remember the thyrohyoid is not supplied by the ansa either from the ansa or from any root but the thyrohyoid is receiving a twig from the hypoglossal nerve and these fibers are also will be coming from the c1 so this is how the infrahyoid muscles are receiving its motor supply through the ansa cervicalis last let us come to the clinical anatomy of this ansa cervicalis so remember any injury happening at any portion any point of the ansa cervicalis that can result the paralysis of the concerned muscle okay and this paralysis of this infrahyoid muscle can interfere with the activities of the larynx and also the movement of the hyoid bone during the glutation so that's all about the ansa cervicalis its position formation relations branches and distribution okay thank you for watching this short video which explain the ansa cervicalis anatomy and please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon